today at this unveiling ceremony in the midst of so many of Bill McLaren's family, friends and colleagues. It is a great pleasure to welcome you all here and how did we arrange such a lovely day in this beautiful Wilton Lodge Park. Particularly, of course, the family of Bill, more so his wife Bette and his daughter Linda, who will say a few words on behalf of the family. Rob Bryden, the Vice Chairman of White Community Council, and myself are very grateful to the family for their cooperation in achieving success for the project and trust that they, like us, are delighted with the bus which we hope is seen by you all as a true representation of Bill. This project, undertaken by Hoyt Community Council, is finally completed with this ceremony today. The idea was initially suggested by John Hope, my predecessor as Chair of Hoyt Community Council, and I am pleased that John is here today to see the outcome of his idea. Following which, Rob Bryden undertook responsibility for the project. Rob has dealt with the memorial from beginning to end and has put so much time and effort into fundraising, meetings and general organising, it must give him a great deal of satisfaction to see the project complete. So well done, Rob. Bill's life and his career, which resulted in him being known as the voice of rugby. He was known to you all as either family, friend, colleague, and even pupil. But I am sure he would be very happy to see you all gathered here today and absolutely delighted with the turnout of people in this beautiful park. The site for the memorial, I trust you will all appreciate, is reflective of looking over to Hoyt High School where Bill spent his latter years of work teaching rugby. I would like to take this opportunity of saying thank you to a few people. Firstly, to the members of White Community Council for their continued support for the project and their assistance with fundraising, and within our council, to Cameron Knox specifically, for his assistance in providing the plans for the plinth and the landscaping. Thanks are also due to Philippa Bilbilly and Keith Douglas from Scottish Borders Council in their respective roles within this park for their assistance. Then of course there is Clamp and Pringle, a local building firm who have built the plinth and surrounding wall to specification, but more importantly, they passed Rob's scrutiny. We have three representatives here today from the Beltane Studios at Peebles, the renowned sculptors tasked with the bronze bust itself. Their attention to detail and the requirement for perfection is much appreciated by us at the Community Council and also the family. Finally, to all the people who made donations to the fundraising, either by public subscription donations from rugby clubs, at the concert by the Relief Mill Voice Choir, the Hoyt Trades Dinner, Hoyt Coming Good Fun, and the John and Mary Elliott Memorial Trust, to name but a few. Even up to last week, Scotia, a well-known local band, offered to cover the cost of hiring this PA system for today. Thank you all, therefore, for contributing to this project in whatever role you played, thus ensuring that the project could be finalised and Hoyt could have a lasting memorial to the gentlemen we honour here today. I would now like to hand it over to Mrs Linda Lawson to say a few words on behalf of the McLaren family and thereafter Mrs Beth McLaren will unveil the memorial. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marion, and thank you to everyone for being here. I'm not promising to be quite so proficient with the microphone as my dad was, but I'll do my best. 
I'm very pleased to be here to be speaking on behalf of Mum especially and the McLaren family generally because uh, we've waited for this day with great anticipation. We've been looking forward to it for a while. But like you, we have no idea what lies beneath this saltire flag. So it's going to be an eye-popping moment, I think. Um, in addition to those thanks that Marion has given, I'd like to give the family's thanks to everyone who's contributed. Um, she already mentioned the White Trades dinner, the Beneath Neil Voice Choir, I know Mum thoroughly enjoyed that concert, the John and Mary Elliott Trust, but I think more so to the people who rattled buckets or sold raffle tickets uh, to make those little 50p or, or pound donations which have made all the difference. It's been a fantastic effort not only by the people of Hoyt, but also the people of the borders, and we're immensely grateful for that. As you may know, the Hoyt Park is very important to Dad. This is a wonderful facility and asset for the town. My sister and I, Janie, and I used to love to play tennis. We spent our holidays playing tennis at the tennis courts. We swam and spent in the dunk. We roller skated around the park, and we had great fun here. And when our, grand our children came along, Mum and Dad brought them down to play in the swings, or to go and kick a rugby ball up at the top end of the park, which is so familiar to Dad. So this particular area is of very important, of great importance to Dad. And of course, we can almost see the family home from here as well. So this is a wonderful asset, and hopefully people will come and visit, and this will just be a further reason for people to come and visit the park, because it's kept so beautifully, and we should be very lucky that we have it here. As most of us know, when Dad was doing his commentaries, he was always really quick to get back home. He would have a car waiting to take him away from the rugby ground to the first bus, train, plane, whatever means of transport he could to get back home. Of course, the main reason, and it's not a surprise, is to get back to Mum. But the other reason is that he loved how He loved to get out onto Acre now and walk around the lock. He loved to get up onto the Verta Shell to play his golf. Or he liked just to sit with his slippers on and put his feet up. But Hoyt was home. And so it's really important and appropriate that his uh, memorial should be here. I think by everything that's happened, the Hoyt people have shown how much they loved Dad. It was a mutual uh, affection that was held. And we are very grateful that today we see the, the coming of an end to all of this effort. I thank John Hope and Rob Brown for having the idea. But most of all, I thank, thank the local community, the community council, for bringing us to this point. So I hope we're all very happy with the end result. Thank you. Okay. 